Hello everybody. Mosen Denavi, I probably pronounce her name wrong, sent me this drawing and asked if I could uh, make a tutorial with this. There are certain areas where I'm not quite sure. I think here I'm a bit uncertain. Here I think we have a drawing error and there are several methods how to approach such uh, a model but I think I start with this area here because I think with a radial sweep and this geometry I can make most of the geometry in an easy way. So let's do it. I go to the top view and start with a square which has uh, 80 millimeters by 5 millimeters and center everything in the middle, A key so we see it, then I select an edge in here, Alt C with the count of 2 and make this about 25%, something like this. Then I put this down, W, another 2 millimeters, then Z key and bring it down another 7 millimeters, 5 plus 2. And then before I continue, I put an edge in here, a single one in the middle and delete the right half. Delete. Now I can take this vertex here and bevel it with a round level of 2, like about so. Let me see the words. And then I put Shift C another edge through here and now I can select this polygon here B for bevel, bevel it in a bit, select these two polygons and delete them. Then uh, I select a single edge to here, this is edge at loop and another single one to here. Now we can get rid of the vertices. I can go to vertex mode, take this vertex and put it to this one. Do the same here, do the same here. And now we can add in the remaining edges to a uh, hold this shape. So Alt C, count of two, symmetry, about two here, another one through here, a single one through here, like so, and then I can Z key move this edge out a little bit to make this additional protective edge. Now we should hold this, hmm. one more here, like so. Okay, now we can duplicate, mirror over X, apply with merge vertices and they have merged, then I can move this shape and if you, this is this part here, if you remember, it's just the way I uh, think it should look and then W key move this away from the center by maybe 30 millimeters, let's make 30 and then we can duplicate radial sweep count of 12 around x by 180 degrees 
and I don't think we need to invert the polygons. Action center is origin and click in the viewport and this is done. Now uh, on the side view I select this half and delete it and now we need to construct this area here or this block rather and uh, I could just polygon extrude all these polygons actually I delete this edge again backspace delete but the problem is we need a hole up here so we need geometry on top as well as on the bottom so I cannot just pull this out I have to uh, divide it you will see what I mean I start with these polygons shift X and pull them out R key with action center normal get rid of this thing and then I can use these six polygons shift X again and pull them down R key and bring them up quite to here and you see when we do a polygon extrude we get the polygons which is normal but in this case we can't use them so delete shift X again and bring it a bit further down so we get access to these polygons select those and delete and now we can just uh, flatten this R key and merge the vertices so now I bring this up a bit more W key and this edge is here W a bit closer and we don't need also these polygons which have been made so let's see yeah that starts to look good now we can put in the edges we need to really uh, harden this shape so shift C cut through here another one through here and finally uh, symmetry on X and we can put in a single edge here uh, what was that let's see okay better and we need one here on top like so okay so this is one part now we need the hole in it oh I forgot something uh, can be easily fixed C key and cut an edge through here and through here and now it's all quads okay to make the hole we need uh, to move these we don't need these two we need to move these edges a bit and for that I put in a single edge in here mm, like so and this one is okay and these two we need to move to about here and I also move uh, these here a bit and then let's see from the bottom here we have a similar problem so 
I select these two polygons, W key, bring them to here, and we can arrange this later to our liking. So delete this, and then I put in Control left click, bring out the circle with eight edges or a cylinder rather. Then I can select this top polygon. And this must be on zero on the y axis. So vertex set position zero on the y. Okay, now we can select the bottom polygon and we have to measure the y position of one of these uh, vertices so info y this one control copy and then go back to polygon mode and vertex set position control v on the y and it came down and then we can Shift select the second one, B for bevel, bevel this in a little and bridge. Then we can select the outer uh, polygons, L key and delete. And now we can only bridge these together like so. And do the same down here. and bridge and finally we put two edges in here like so and let's see how this looks this looks good another thing which i would like to do is in top view i select these two vertices here now we can go back to symmetry on x and W move them into the middle, B for bevel but with a round level of zero and bevel these out as far as we can and then Alt 3 to convert it to polygons, Shift F5 to go to the scripts directory, run Seneca Menars perfect circle, B to bevel, bevel it in a little, and I better go to perspective view, then bevel it on the blue handle, control Z, shift click away from the handle, on the blue handle, shift click, and shift click a bit more, shift click, and bevel it in on the red handle and now if we go up with the subdivision level to four we have perfect guiding holes in here so before i finish the bottom i will uh, duplicate mirror over Y and be sure not to have merge vertices otherwise it will merge vertices together so uh, W key like so and now we have the top or half of the top if you look at this, this is pretty much what we have here. And I can continue with the bottom. Uh, but first I will hide this and select. Mm, it's not symmetric, so let's turn it off. Shift up arrow. And then bevel, 
a little bit, shift click, bevel it out quite a bit, like so, shift click, a bit more, drop the tool, and now we have the guiding uh, bolts, and we can continue down here, but first I want to select all these polygons, W key, bring them out a bit, like so, shift X, shift X again, control Z, sorry, about to here, shift click to reactivate polygon extrude to about here. Okay, now let's see in top view I select these polygons and these ones, R key, and bring them to about here. Shift C, cut through here, and let's see, we need another one in here, maybe like so. How does it look? Not so bad, but we need another cut through here and we cannot just put an edge in because we would ruin this part of the geometry. So we have to redirect this, then I select this polygon and hide it. Alt 4, oh sorry, uh, add loop, which is in my case the keyboard shortcut Alt 4, and I put an edge in here and another one in here. Then U for unhide and C key and make sure you have inside polygons active. And then you can put two edges to here and shift click and redirect it to here. And we have a very nice thing and the only thing left is now to make another hole in here. So I put an edge in about the middle, select these four polygons and these ones, use Seneca Menars, incredible Shift F5, perfect circle script and top view R key but without symmetry and make this smaller. I want the hole to be a bit bigger than this one. So uh, B for bevel on the red handle, bevel it in and bridge. Wrong key or Q. And now we can <coughs> put two edges in here and it is finished. So now we can uh, go to the side view, select all these edges, vertex, set position, zero, on Z. Now we can duplicate mirror on Z. Uh, that's not good. It should be zero. Zero was my fault. And apply. And I forgot to merge the vertices. So let's do it now. And this looks good. Perspective. <coughs> now when you remember, here are the real bearings, so let's do those. I select uh, this here, up arrow key, to here, shift up arrow, 
control copy n for a new mesh control v and now we don't need to see this one i can select these edges on top here and the ones here and backspace delete then f to flip this uh, duplicate mirror on y apply and words have merged then i can uh, polygon thicken this click in the viewport on the blue handle and bring this into about here and select this and this one or c count of two m to give it the material call it bearing control x go to this mesh control v and l shift up arrow twice and here to about w to about here hmm. yeah then we can duplicate mirror again on x apply and give this and this material m this is the block subdivide everything go to basic uh, shift click on here ah. and let's see w key bring this down give this also material m uh, this is the plane material or make it a bit bigger go back to our normal mesh tap to subdivide it go to the render window shift a and let's find a similar view as our drawing like this one and I use this here for the plane I use lead for the block and I use silver for the bearing because this must be really nice and shiny then I select an environment this one make it a bit bigger like uh, 7 1280 by 720 and go up with the render level also to 4 let's see mm, I use another environment uh, this one and render it and here we are and if we look back to this drawing again I think this is pretty close so thanks for watching I hope you liked it uh, take care and have fun modeling with Modo See you some other time. Bye-bye.